So here it is, the Google Pixel 9. Except it's not. This is a Samsung Galaxy Note 10 and it's running Pixel OS. Yeah, Google software, Samsung hardware. It's a combo so good, it almost feels illegal. Now, if you're like me, you love a good underdog story. The Galaxy Note 10 launched back in 2019 is by industry standards obsolete. But this update basically gives your Note 10 everything you'd expect from Google's flavor of Android. Pixel OS gives you that sleek, clean, bloat-free Pixel experience on Samsung hardware. No ads, no carrier junk, no pointless features you'll never use. Just smooth, intuitive, buttery software. Let me show you exactly what Pixel OS brings to the table, why it's worth considering, and most importantly, how to install it step by step without breaking your phone. Let's get into it. First off, let's talk about why this ROM is such a game changer. If you've ever used a Pixel, you already know. It's all about simplicity and smarts, no clutter. No nonsense, just a phone that works with you, not against you. Here's the deal. The animations, smoother. Features like circle to search, which honestly, I use every single day. And those AI wallpapers, incredible. Your imagination is the only limit and the wallpaper you generate, completely one of a kind unique to you and then there's voice transcription in the pixel recorder and of course that classic pixel launcher it's all just amazing even better this thing feels fast camera functionality is mostly intact too photos look sharp and video maxes out at 4k at 30 frames per second but fair warning you'll lose some of that samsung magic no seamless zoom switching between cameras no pro mode video if you're a shutterbug i'd recommend sideloading gcam for a better experience now, the S Pen, it's there, but no Bluetooth, no air gestures, no palm rejection. It's basically just a stick that writes. In other words, it'll become the S Pen for the Galaxy S25 Ultra, since that one also doesn't have Bluetooth. And if you're holding on to Samsung Notes, DeX, or other Samsung-specific goodies, yeah, those are gone. That said, the overall experience is smooth, and honestly, it feels great to use. Day-to-day -day tasks like watching YouTube, scrolling through social media, and even gaming feel good. I wouldn't say it's dramatically better, but you do notice a bit of extra speed. Battery life? It's good, not great, not terrible, just fine. Banking apps work, but I can't say the same for every other app you might be using, and some of you might face network or battery drain issues. If you do, let everyone know in the comments so we can figure it out together. Don't worry though. You can always roll back to the original firmware if you decide to. And yes, I've got a video on my channel for that as well. That said, in my experience, no such issues. Everything worked just fine. Alright, enough talk. Let's get this setup rolling. Step 1. Smash that like and subscribe button. If you don't, the ROM might not work. Now, update your stock firmware to the latest available version and make sure your device is charged. Anything above 30% is the sweet spot because no one wants their phone to die mid-installation. Next, an important caveat. This process only works on Exynos models of the Note 10 series. If you've got a Snapdragon variant, sorry, this one's not for you. Heads up, this will wipe everything on your device. So unless you're cool with starting fresh, make sure to back up your data. And while you're at it, unlink any Google or Samsung accounts tied to the phone. Got all that? Cool, now let's really dive in. Enable developer settings. Start by going to about phone in the settings menu. From there, tap on software information and then tap the build number seven times. That'll unlock the developer settings for you. Once that's done, head back to the main settings menu and find developer settings. Tap on it and then enable USB debugging and OEM unlocking. As long as the OEM unlock toggle is on, you're good to go. Great. Now turn off your device completely. All right. Grab your data cable and your laptop. It's about to get technical. Connect the cable to your PC, then press and hold the volume up and volume down keys on your Note 10 together. And just like that, you're on the bootloader screen. Now, to unlock the bootloader, press and hold the volume up button for a few seconds. A new screen with instructions will pop up. Pay close attention here. As soon as you press the volume up key to confirm unlocking the bootloader, immediately press and hold both the volume up and volume down keys again. Why? This step keeps your phone from rebooting straight back into the operating system. Once you've done that, press volume up one more time to continue. And voila, you're now in download mode. Now you're going to need a few files to make this happen. All the links are right there in the description of this video. 
Step 1. Locate the Samsung USB driver file. Click on it and follow the basic install wizard steps. Step 2. Find the platform tools zip file. Right click on it and extract the contents. You'll see a new folder pop up in the same directory. Step 3. In your downloads folder, rename the files to keep things straightforward. Change the Pixel OS ROM file name to just romfile.zip. Next, make a copy of the app release APK file. Once that's done, rename the copied file to whatever you prefer. Finally, select the rom.zip and root.zip files if you are planning to root and cut them. Navigate to the platform tools folder you extracted earlier and paste them there. Now, everything we need is in one convenient spot for the next steps. Locate the Odin file you downloaded earlier. Extract the contents. Once Odin starts, check for an indicator that confirms your device is connected. Usually, this shows as a COM port highlighted in blue. If you see that, you're good to go. Click on the Options tab and turn off Auto Reboot. Click AP and navigate to the folder where you saved your files. Select the TWRP recovery file. Next, click CP and choose the vbmeter.tar file. Once both files are loaded, click Start. Odin will now begin the flashing process. In just a few seconds, it should complete and display a big green pass message. It's time to test what we just installed. Press and hold power button, volume up and volume down button together. The moment the device powers off, release the volume down button but keep holding the other two. When the Samsung logo appears, release the power button but keep holding volume up. Wait a few seconds and welcome to TWRP recovery. Now that you are in recovery, it's time to clean the device. Go to wipe, type yes and swipe right to wipe the data. Once that's done, go back and reboot the device into recovery mode again. This will ensure the storage appears on your laptop screen. Next, head to your downloads folder on your laptop and copy the Pixel OS recovery file into your phone's internal storage. Once the file is copied, go to install in TWRP. Tap on install image and you'll see the file you just copied. Tap on it, select recovery and swipe right to flash it. As soon as the flashing is finished, go back and reboot the device into recovery mode again. This time, when your device boots back up, you'll be in Pixel OS recovery. Now that you're in Pixel OS recovery, it's time to clean the device. Tap on factory reset and confirm to format the data. Once that's done, head back to the main menu. Tap apply update and select apply from ADB. Navigate to the platform tools folder, right click inside the folder and select open in terminal or command prompt depending on your OS. In the terminal window, type adb space sideload rom.zip then hit enter. The installation will start and you'll see the progress on both your phone and the command window. Once it's done, you'll see the message, install completed with status zero. Now on your phone, tap reboot system now. Be patient, it might take three to five minutes to pass the boot animation and get to the welcome screen. Once there, set up your device as you normally would. And that's it, your Galaxy Note 10 is now rocking a pixel-like OS. How cool is that? Let me know if you're happy with it. After logging into your Google account and checking your device's status in the Play Store, you might see the message, device is not certified. If you want to make your device certified, you'll need to root your phone. This step is optional. If you are ready to root, let's move on. Turn off your device, but keep it connected to your PC using the cable. Now, follow these steps to enter Pixel OS recovery. Press and hold the power button and volume up button at the same time. When the device powers on, release the power button. Once the Samsung logo appears, release the volume up button. And that's it. You are back in Pixel OS recovery. Tap on apply update, then choose apply from ADB. Back on your PC in the terminal window, type ADB silo root.zip. Press enter to begin the routing process. If your phone displays signature verification failed, install anyway, choose yes to proceed. The process will complete with the message install completed with status zero. Select reboot system now and let your device restart. Once your device has rebooted, plug your phone into your PC and allow USB file transfer by choosing files transfer when prompted. Navigate to the downloads folder on your PC and copy the following files to your phone's internal storage. apprelease.apk playintegritifix.zip install. Once installed, open the Majesk app. Go to settings within the Majesk app and enable the required toggles. In Majesk, go to modules and select install from storage. 
Locate the Play Integrity Fix.zip file in your phone's storage, tap on it, and install the module. Head to Settings, then Apps. Find Google Play Store and Google Play Services, then clear their data one by one. Restart your phone. After restarting, open the Play Store and check your device's status. You should now see Devices Certified. That's it! Your device is now running the cleanest version of Android, Pixel OS. Let me know about your experience with this ROM in the comment section below. It'll also help others. See you there.